Hey guys, it's Chelsea from Little Mountain Ranch. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my little greenhouse. This greenhouse, the build of this greenhouse rather, was the first video that I ever did for YouTube just about four years ago. And I love it. And it is still just as beautiful as it was when we first built it. Bless you. But because our farm has grown and developed and changed, I don't have the same use for this space as I did when we first built it. When we first built it, I built it with the intention of growing tomatoes in here for the use over the summer. I knew I would never be able to grow enough tomatoes in this space for what we needed all year long, and I was still ordering tomatoes off the farm. But since the high tunnel went in last year, I can now grow all of the tomatoes and peppers that we need for the entire year. And this space has almost become redundant. But one of the things that I have used Used this area for over the years as a place to be able to grow out my seedlings before they go out into the garden. Now that I have the high tunnel and the size of my garden has doubled since we first built this, I am starting even more seedlings than I've ever started before. And by the time last year came around, I was having to set up tables all the way around and put those little mini greenhouses over each one of those tables. And that meant extra heaters because I always put heaters under there to keep the temperature above freezing at night. Um, and it also was just a ton more work because I have to lift that plastic up during the day so that the plants don't get too hot lift them up every time I want to water, etc, etc. Dan and I came into here yesterday and we were looking at it, trying to figure out a way that we could turn this into a permanent nursery potting up space for me. And we bought a fairly thick plastic, I think it was a 10 mil plastic, it was the thickest one that you could buy, um, to line the inside of this with and we'll be taping up the sides and everything and making it as airtight as possible and then that way we only need to have one heater, a slightly larger heater than we were using in here to keep that temperature up during our cold nights. What we're going to do is to build nice high tables all the way around that will be permanent. What I have done up until this point is I just bring sawhorses in every spring and use two by fours and plywood to um, build temporary tables. So we're going to put in permanent tables where I can put all of my seedlings and I already have two potting up tables that we're gonna move in here that have the mesh top for doing all my potting up. And I cannot tell you how, I'm, how excited I am about this. It's gonna save me a lot of extra work, which is great. Oh, there comes Dan with the ladder. Um, we're just gonna get into this project now and get this all cleaned out and start building. You want to climb in? 20? I'm climbing over at the side. We have this side all done and it's already warmer in here, which is very exciting. We do have the vents, I don't know if you can see that, um, on either side, plus the door. And we were talking about potentially putting another vent in over on this side if it gets too hot. But I think it's gonna be okay and I have no doubt that once we put a heater in here, we'll be able to keep it above freezing at night. So this is pretty exciting. Um, if this works as well as I feel like it potentially could, I might even start some seeds out here, especially because I'll be starting, I usually start all of my squashes about four weeks before they need to go out, and I'll probably start all those in here. What else do I need to start? My brassicas, which are pretty cold hardy, I might start 
those out here as well. So the plan is though, we're gonna get this all done. We'll put a heater in here tonight and then I'll just come out at maybe one o'clock in the morning or so and just see how um, the temperature is because we're supposed to get down to minus, I think 11 or so degrees Celsius tonight. And if, <clears throat> pardon me, <clears throat> excuse me, if it works, then, uh, then I think that's what I'll probably do. We are on to day two of this project. Dan had a dinner date with his mom last night and had to do some tax stuff in town, so I had to leave a little bit early. But now we do have the whole back is now all plastic, both sides and the peak. And now, now we just have this end and the door to do. The one kind of sad part of all of this is now I don't get to see out of this building. I don't get to see the beautiful view of the fields and everything, but it is already significantly warmer in here now than it is outside just with having this plastic on. So that is very exciting. Plan now is to finish this and then we're going to get all the shelves built. We'll, we'll try to get it all built today and potentially stained, but probably not. That probably won't happen until tomorrow. Okay, here is where we are at with this project. So far we have all the plastic on the entire greenhouse and I have used tuck tape and clear tuck tape and taped all of the seams. And now we have the first part of the shelving that's gonna go all the way around to um, already attached onto the building. One of the things that we're discussing right now is whether we want to do two shelves. So the way this is situated, this is the south side and this is the north side. So what we're thinking we could probably do is to put two shelves, one at this height and then one up here along this side and along the east side of the greenhouse without impacting any shade issues because the sun comes over in the summer on this side and we'll be able to light all of the shelves that were over here. We're thinking that that might be a good way. It's easier to build it all now than it is to add, attach that in the future or add that on in the future. So it might be a good way to get ahead of if I start wanting to do seedling sales or anything like that to just have that space. So we're really leaning towards that. You're really leaning towards that, hey? What's that? Doing the shelf. Second shelf? Yeah. Oh, I am. Definitely. I think so. Yeah, I think, I think. I think doing the second shelf is probably, we may as well just do it. And the nice thing is we had a lot of this lumber already here. We might need to buy a few more two by fours to finish this project. And then the um, hardware cloth, is what I think it's called. Do you know the stuff that's the one inch? What's I'm it? Sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's called, but anyway, we'll show you when we get it um, to surface all of it. So that way when I am doing any potting or anything on it, then the soil just falls down below. So this is pretty exciting and it is significantly warmer in here now with this plastic on than it was before. So I think this is gonna work out really well. All right, I'll show you where we're at right now. We have all of these shelves in and we did decide to put the slightly smaller shelf on the north side as well as the east side, but leave the south side open, excluding this one on the bottom. I am so excited about this. This is going to save me so much work. Um, so tomorrow the plan is, is we're gonna go get the paint to paint all of these. And I haven't quite decided yet whether I'm just gonna paint it the same green, whether I'll do it a slightly different shade of green or whether I'll do it purple, which is what one of my Instagram followers suggested that I do. And I thought that that was a really cool idea. So I don't know if that's too, um, I don't know, different for me. <laughs> I'm pretty conservative that way, but I'm gonna go check out all the colors tomorrow and see what I decide. I'll bring you along to that once we get this all finished. I will film another video and show you what it looks like when it is all done. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.